Hello guys, what's up? Here's Bayan. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to install few blinds in few easy steps. This one is a cordless. It is child safe, so you just pull it, go up and stop right where you like it. By the end of this video, you know how to install it. They are very easy to install. There's no secret about it, so I'm gonna just show you a few pieces that came with it. Yes, is this a recording? We pick up the blind on Home Depot and there they can cut on the size that you need. In this case here, they had the size of the blind closest to this open was 18 inches. And this one is, uh, is 14 and a half inches to fit good. So we had a gentleman there in Home Depot. They did a very good job for us. They cut perfect and it, we're just gonna put it. I check it. It is just perfect fit. fit and the worker there was just great with us. We have this one in here. This is just a cup, we're just gonna push it in there. Done. And then we have the sad one. Oh, what we're gonna do, it just goes right there. We'll do the same thing for both sides secret about it and then we have this piece that is to hold the blind and we have this one that is to open close it more light came in so let's work the tools that I'm gonna use here I'm just gonna try to use like we have a measuring tape for it if we need to measure something we use a, just a a drill. This is a driver screw gun, but you can use a drill. The next step is to measure the distance. From yeah, this case, I'm just gonna put about one inch from the window. I just want it to keep it closer to the window. That way, the window sill is a kind of white, so we have the space to put something on top. This one came with the package. This one is the one we're gonna use, so you guys can see little bit bigger difference as in this case we have a half inch dryer up there and if we use this one we will be just a little bit hold on the wood so we're just gonna use a long screws in this case it's just the wood behind but if you use a long screws just you just gotta be careful with wires and thing if you have wire and another pipe behind okay let's get this done man. We could be a little bit farther here, but I just want it closer to the window. The wind this size, we just have two of them, two holders. If the window is wider, we'd have maybe three or four. We're gonna check next wind to see how they work and we show you guys. Like you can see here, this guys have a few hook in there, the way it goes, just uh, that way you guys know. It's gonna clip right there. And you can hear the click, and if you want to remove it, once I put it, this one is not hold, and then you can hear a little click. When you put it, it's just locking right there, see? Okay, so if you want to have move it, just do like that. And blind this out again there he is okay. 
Hello, the blind is on and we just need to put this piece and let's see how it works. Just a little bit different from the last one that I did. So, let's try it. Whoa! Looks to be everything is working like it's supposed to be. Okay, there we go. Looking good. The blind looks good. Let's move to the next one. Like you guys can see, a belly about four times as big as the other one. This part they are the same. Let's um, fit it in. Okay, so we're gonna install this piece. The blind holder, right? Okay, this blind is longer than the last one. So it came with uh, three of those holders. This is why we have to put one on the center because the weight. Yes, the, the reason that I put it a little bit away, about one inch, is because you can see this part of the wind to open and close the wind is a little bit out, so don't put it too tight. Just give a space. If you like, you could put this way, a little bit this way. If you have a, like to put plants and the stuff behind, that, that way you have a lot of light for the plants. But in this case, we not set up for plants. This is just uh, gonna be a rental unit, so we don't want to have so much stuff here and get the wood rotten. Okay, so we're gonna go here. You're gonna be, we're gonna do about one inch away from the window. That's how we go. I'm just put a couple inch away from uh, the corner because it, like you can see here on the blind. If you put too close, a little bit hard to fit, so you need at least a little bit of distance from the corner. Usually we put one right on the center, but before you put on the center, good idea to measure it. Put it to the center so we cannot install the holding there. It we have to move it a little bit this way, maybe 34. But I would go with 30, and I don't want to get uh, too close to this. Um, this element in here, you can see some more stuff here, so I would stay this side, this side I have nothing on my way, so I would say I put it about uh, on 30 inches. 30 inches from there, and go right there. Again, I'm just use a, a long screw. We're just gonna fit right on this hook. You see here, the hook goes in here. We're just gonna put it. Once we have this part in, in and in, we just push it against the window. Yeah, just gonna hook here on the blind. See this? Right there. And then I'm just gonna push it against the wind. So now we have the top part in. So all you have to do is push it that way. Push it that way. And we get it in. Now let's see how this guy works. Up and down. Looks to be working great, like you guys can see. 
last step would be to just push this guy in and uh, but before I put it in because this wind is smaller I'm gonna make a cut right there Let's see about this side So I cut about say, 19 and a half inch, that way this part stay right inside the window. Okay, be back in a second. Done, and then what I'm gonna do with this? I'm just gonna sand it out a little bit. It is good as new. Sand it around, that way it's not sharp. Nobody can get hurt on it. And uh, let's go back to work. We're back in here. So we cut it on the side, that way we don't make a mess inside. If we don't make mess, we just don't have to clean it up. So nice and easy. Let's just stop this in. Yeah. Blind is working good. There you go. You just can lift it, bring it down halfway, go up as you like. So this, uh, I like the system. You don't have the screen, so this is just perfect. So this is. Really nice. Thank you guys for watching. This would help you guys to put the to install the blind. This few easy step. See you next video and thank you for your support. Just uh, if you like this video, subscribe that we're gonna gonna have a great content coming up. Just keep you guys open for the next video. And there you go. Thank you again and see you next video. How to Cut Blinds. Horizontal blinds are practical window treatments that help to enhance the comfort and beauty of your home or office. Many blinds are affordable and easily attainable in most standard window sizes. However, there are times that window blinds are incorrectly measured or are sold only in sizes too wide to fit your window. In this case, you may need to cut the blinds yourself. It is easy to cut horizontal blinds at home with a little patience and the appropriate tools. Cutting the head rail. Measure the width of the window to determine the necessary width of the blinds. Typically, a set of inside mount blinds should measure about. Measure in at least three places, the top, bottom, and middle of the window. Mark the smallest measurement, and cut to this. Most windows are going to have regular, even spacing, but older houses may have some variability. If there is a change, use the smallest measurement taken. Subtract one quarter inch from each side to ensure the blinds have room to move up and down. This small gap will keep your blinds from getting cut or stuck on the windowsill. Measure the blinds from the head rail and use a pencil to mark your new desired length. Use the measurement found above and mark the head rail the top of the blinds at this length. You may either cut an even amount off of both sides or cut only from the pull cord side. If the cords are on one side, you can cut only from the other side. In many ways, only cutting one side is much easier. Cut the blind headrail using a hacksaw or tin snips. Simply start sawing to remove the headrail where you noted. Remove the metal end stiffener bracket from the sides you are cutting. Use the hacksaw or tin snips to cut the headrail per your measured mark. File any rough edges with a metal file. However, keep in mind that the headrail edges will be covered by the mounting brackets, so a rough cut will not be visible. Replace the metal end stiffener onto the newly cut headrail. 1. 